felt like I was a golden child coming out of Nashville. Really, really decent football player. Uh, thinking that I was going to get my family out with this didn't happen, like a lot of other stories. Um, hit a real bad depression phase. Uh, my last, I guess my last year of really playing football. I've seen some big schools uh, and, and came through uh, from Hendersonville. I watch a lot of the beach guys. I watch some guys from uh, coming from, uh, what is it, Murfreesboro, whatever it may be. You can be on a 50, 60-man roster, whatever it may be, at a huge school and not even get looked at. All right, everybody. Uh, I'm here with uh, Shaka Hill, assistant coach for uh, Franklin Christian Academy Falcons. He's been there. He's been there about as long as a uh, head coach would. How many head coaches have you been through? <laughs> I think this is Coach Adams makes number three. Yes. Man, they, that's they, a lot of coaches. I, but I learned from every single one. Like of they're them. all different. Yes, they. I learned. Like okay, so what 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 is each one of them? Bring? Okay, so let's start back. You had. Um, Coach Drew. Coach Drew. Drew, Drew Robinson. Yes. Drew Robinson. Yes. And then you went to Coach Pettit. Coach Pettit. Then you went to Coach a – what, what are each of them, like, <laughs> what are the differences? Um, like, Coach, how did you have to adapt to each of them? Coach Drew, first of all, I need to give him a shout-out because he, he gave me my first opportunity to yeah. coach. Um, didn't know anything about defense, so he gave me a shot to do that. Right. And, uh, but his offensive mind of just running gun, that's kind of his style. Right. And can really, really good at quarterbacks. Well, he had a good, he had a good team for that. Yeah. With Casey and Alex oh, and well, yeah, uh, Carpenter Brothers. The, uh, I don't think Carpenter Brothers was coming The older yet. one. The oldest one was there. Yeah, I think they was coming Yeah, in. they were yeah, getting there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, he's really a uh, well-minded offensive guy. Coach Pettit, more of a stern guy. He kept everything in order. That's, right. That's kind of his style. Um, already kind of had the team built, but he came in with more discipline. Well, it obviously worked because you won a championship. Heck, yeah. I take that. <laughs> I take that. And I learned things <laughs> from that, you know. Cause right. I, um, when he left, um, I thought I was, like, conditioning guys the correct way, and I found out I wasn't. So, i taken that from Coach Pettit and learned that. Right. Coach Adams is this, that, that Louisiana Bulldog. You know what I mean? He's so, very laid back. You think he, he is. He seems like he's very laid back, <laughs> but he seems, he seems like that. He, he, he's very laid back. Uh, a great man. Uh, number one, out of all three of them, all of them the same. Um, right. Family, family man. Right. And um, – Speak very well of of, of Christian uh, spirituality, and I love those about all three of those guys. Right. And Coach Adam just bring it all to the table, taught me some things, uh, introduced me to some his mentor, uh, just better me on all levels. Right. And um, like I said, it, it, I told Mr. Harris, I our headmaster, if he didn't bring another guy in that can teach me and help me, then I'm out. Yeah, for and sure. They he bought the perfect guy for this. So you have a. Not to, not to pump you up, but you have a little bit of a say. Do you have a little bit of a say on who they bring in? A little sometimes, bit. Sometimes. A little bit. <laughs> not like too a, much, but a little not, bit. Not, not, yeah. like a, not like a, I'm going to hold this over your head, yeah, but yeah. like, a, you know, kind of like guiding. Because, yeah. you know, sometimes you got somebody who it's it's different, like different ADs and stuff. Sometimes one that hasn't experienced football as much True. True. has a trouble hiring a head football coach. If you have a guy who can say, okay, this is what you're looking for, then they can fill in the other side of it as to can they help with the school, can right. they help with the other aspects off the football field. Well, another thing you can say, too, is um, I think uh, Coach Adams was there a couple of years before he had the head coach position. Right. Um, so he was always kind of established, and I was like, this guy knows his stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and, and he just he, he brought certain things to the table. And I think, you know, in due time, I really, really believe if it's God is ready for you to have an opportunity – you will receive it. Right. So, I'm not going to lie. I felt like that I was maybe in the line to be a head coach, but it's things that I didn't understand and learn because I'm still going through it. You know right, what I mean? Right. So, And it was a perfect guy to learn from with Coach Adams, and it was his time, God's time for him to be at this school. Right. Now, you've been doing this seven years. Yes. Let's back up before that because a lot of people have seen – with seven years, a lot of people have seen you around. Yes. They've seen your shawl. They've seen your bucket hat. <laughs> they've seen everything. They've seen the beard. <laughs> yeah. The style. Yeah. But let's back up before that. Right. Let's get a little background. Where, where would you come from? Where, where were you born or raised, born, raised? Um, straight out of Nashville, Tennessee. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a hometown boy out of Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, 
went to um, high school, went to Good Pasture okay. Christian School okay. uh, under Coach Martin. Um, then I went to University of Memphis in college and okay. then, you know, played some uh, semi-pro and arena and some right, things like right. that. And uh, so on and so on. I learned from a, a lot of good coaches. Did yeah. you do all four years at Memphis? Yes. What did yes. you get a degree in? Uh, sports management. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, all right. That works out. You, you know, and I feel like that I'm – God put me here for a reason. Right. I really, really do feel like that. I was on – I mean, this can be a whole other story, but I was in, I was in a collapse in my life. We got life. time. <laughs> we got time. Uh, I, I, man, we had um, uh, Matt Bowden on last mm-hmm. week. He was a running back for Lancaster Christian. Awesome. And so, you know, the part of that was just finding out his background because he had a crazy background. Did he? With his family, his parents, and everything. Wow. And so just to see where God's brought him now, I mean, that's part of the whole thing of doing these interviews is like, you know, the people listening, they may think that they're the only ones going through something. Yes. yes. And to hear it from someone who's gotten to the other side yes. and said, hey, this this part, this really stinks, mm-hmm. but you can get through it and it'll be better that's right. on the other side. And that's like, that's with everything in life. Well, life is constantly work. Right. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. You're going to have your good and your bad and. Um, I've learned through all these years now, you know, I'm just 38, but, um, you got to have the right people around Man, you. Casey must have put that gray hair on you. <laughs> yeah, he was one of them. <laughs> I got to give Casey a hard time. He was one of them. He was one of them. Okay. He was one of them. Um, Probably Elijah a little bit too. Uh, all of them. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> but great kids. Right. Those are kids you, I still keep up with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, so how'd you get to FCA? Um, my fiance, okay. uh, my fiance, I, like I said, is the story. Um, football, I, I love football, right. you know, um, like I said, to, to make things shorten up, I uh, felt like I was a golden child coming out of Nashville, really, really decent football player, uh, thinking that I was going to get my family out with this didn't happen. Like a lot of other stories, um, hit a real bad depression phase. Um, uh, my last, I guess my last year of really playing football. And if it wasn't for her to put my resume out that I didn't even know I had a resume. Right, right. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I got to give Coach Drew for uh, some respect for responding to something I didn't even know I had out. Right. And he was just like, I got your, your resume. I love it, brother. Come and do I was like, what resume? <laughs> <laughs> so I was on a bad collapse of not wanting to be here anymore. Sounds like you found a good help me. I think we all, I, 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 I think any man who's who's yeah. worth anything has a woman who's a hundred times better. Yeah, she's behind uh, her. She's a handful. Right. I, <laughs> I love her. Uh, she still lives in Memphis. Um, right. We're, we're still trying to figure things out. Right. But um, man, my best friend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, we mentioned Casey and Elijah mm-hmm. and all of them. Who was? I'm not going to ask who your favorite quarterback is. I'm not going to have you <laughs> ask you that. Instead, I'll ask. What were some of their differences? Like, what were some of the some, some, what were some of the things about each of them that made them unique? Okay. You know, not so much even bad stuff. Just how were they? Di- how do you have to? Well, you do defense too, yes, so yes. you know they. I don't think Casey Casey didn't play defense. He played. He a played bit a little bit for me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but I know I know Alex played some defense. Mm-hmm. That's my guy. Then. But yeah, but uh, who who was some who, well who was some defensive guys that you enjoyed? Uh, J.P. Smith. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a beast. People around here don't know. He's a beast. Uh, and, and, and that kind of defined me, letting me know that I was a decent enough coach. Right. Uh, because he went to the Mecca to play football in oh, yeah. his last year at Texas. Yeah. And I was like, okay. He was like, they don't like the way I play defense in. Right. And I was like, I taught him that. <laughs> I, I, I may not be good to this. <laughs> and and right. the next thing you know, it was like, do what you were doing, you know. So – and uh, he did it and ended up getting, like, 13, 14 sacks. And I was like, maybe I know a little bit of something about this game. So, uh, he, he was a really a really good player. Of course, Alex Dites, um, Braden Holcomb, a beast. I mean, I had – I was – you know, I don't want to leave anybody out there, but I was blessed with a lot of talent. Right. Um, you well, know. and so many – as many guys as you had, you're going to forget somebody. Of course. You're going to forget somebody. But, uh, but as soon as – I mean, we got connections. Um, I love them to death. They still have my phone number. Right. I'm going to always be there for them. So, guys yeah. Like, I, guys like Br- uh, Brandon Zane. Oh, my God. Uh, Br- uh, Insane. Zane, the GOAT. <laughs> the uh, the best center I've seen. If, if anybody yeah. – he would he was the last person I would have thought would have gone to seminary. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then all of a sudden, he's in seminary. I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing? He's he, – he's, he's, he's um, a He's hilarious. He's a full of different pages, yeah. man. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Wild Child, uh, Brandon, uh, <laughs> Brandon Miner, a beast. 
Could right. have easily, I felt like, played D2. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, but some guys just make some choice. It's really hard to go to the next level, but right. you have to constantly work. But all those guys. Two years right. ago, him and Colton Rollins were kind of from mm-hmm. here. Yeah. We're kind of in a competition for, for sack leader. Yeah. And I think they ended up tied. Did they? Maybe. Or, like, it was, nah. like, a half a sack off. <laughs> what was he like during that season of, like, knowing did, – did he know? Did I he, didn't like, know. keep up with it? You didn't know. I didn't know. You um, think he kept up with it? Like, how he no. was doing with sacks no. and numbers and stuff? Not at all. No? I, didn't, I didn't know To someone was like – I think as a team we had – 40 Y'all had a whole it bunch. was ridiculous. Well, because you had him and Hayden. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I forgot about the Superman. <laughs> yeah. See, now you're making me feel bad. Clark yeah. Kent, <laughs> little Bron- he had the swoop over. Yeah. 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 He's, I mean, I'm telling you, man, these guys are really, really good ball players. And it's one thing I do like about M Tech is doesn't have that that role of a TWSAA that I can keep up with these guys. Right. I mean, they call me and say they want to work out. Yeah. Let's work out. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, well, you could just get to know them on a more personal level. Of course. And spend, like, outside the field time. Of course. When others can't. Yes. And that's the great thing about it. Yes, of course. That is one of the good things. That's the um, that's the blessing of being a coach, I guess. Right. There's so many different type of coaches. And I'm not going to lie to you. There's a lot of coaches around my years I just don't like. Yeah. Um, because they got the title coach and not – Act like they're not a person anymore, right. you know, or a father or whatever. Maybe it's all about W's and L's, and it's about life. It's almost like know? the whole leader slash boss thing. Mm, leader versus that. boss, yeah. you know. Yeah, I've had a lot of bosses and I've had some <laughs> leaders. Yes, and it's a total difference. Yes, but God, it's like it's like my head coach was a, was a leader, right? Uh, Tommy Thornton. Yeah, oh, of course. Yeah, totally different guy. Right, and so it's just it's great. But, but, God, but God put those. I don't care if they are bosses or strict or whatever. I mean, they put them in your life for. For a season, right, and it's something to learn from, right? So, yeah, I take that. Now you're insane because you you live in Hendersonville. <laughs> yeah, you drive to Franklin. Yeah, I live in Springfield. I drive all over the place. That's pretty. I wouldn't un- make that drive for that football. That's pretty awesome. Especially <laughs> with Hendersonville Christian was right there there for 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 the time. That is true. Aaron Academy was around back in the day. That is true. Christian Community's right here. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you, you got some. You get the heat right there in Mount Juliet. Yeah, there had to have been temptation to go to one of those. Had to be a little bit, just a little bit closer drive. Like I said, um, first of all, didn't know about eight-man football. Right, um, right. I didn't want to coach. I mean, I was so depressed uh, about, like I said, one day when we speak again, I'll tell you about all this stuff. But Yeah. Oh, um, we'll, we'll do this again. All right. <laughs> we're, we're, already, we're already booking it right now. <laughs> so, like I said, my lady, Latabney Simmons, put out something I never knew anything about. Right. And somebody reached, and it was that guy, Coach Drew. When you looked at it, if yes. if you had put one together, if you were like in the mind frame, Myself. put one together, right? You, okay. if you when you looked at it, if you had put that, is it stuff that you would have put on there, or did she? That girl like, was a it? genius when it comes to was stuff. Was she good yeah. at like wording it and stuff? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know, um, you know, my stats. I don't care about that stuff. I also, like I said, football was over with. Right. I'm telling you, I'm a Madden fanatic. Right. Put Madden down for years. Um, I couldn't watch NFL. Uh, it was just so much that I had to deal with. Right. Um, and then it was for her just to make me get back into the game again. It's, it's crazy. I'm more of a NCAA guy. Nah, I ain't mad at you. <laughs> I'm rooting for them to bring it back. Yeah. I that, want them to bring it back so But you so know bad. what? That's another thing, uh, being, being a, a college football player that, you know, they did a lot not to pay us and do things without us knowing. That's right. why they're taking it. Some of the reason they're taking that game away. Yeah. 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 That's another story. That's a whole other story. That's like a third interview. <laughs> did you pick Memphis over everybody, or did you have, well, like, multiple offers? Well, you're doing so many more stories. <laughs> um, uh, a really, really good recruit. And I tell everybody now, my ACT slipped up. Right. Um, been offered by everybody in the nation, and the ACT slipped up. But they were there. Um, maybe it was a reason because that's why I met my fiance. But right. Exactly. And I learned some things. I learned some things from going from a really, really bad team to, uh, and a really not so well put together team right. to being one of the really best teams out now. Um, and I see it built. We end up being ranked. The defense is always ranked in the top 10. So yeah. I learned a lot from Tommy West. Um, so it was a reason that. And I, we're kind of going through the same. Not, it's organized. Yeah, but yeah. we're going through from losses, losing good people, to trying to build this thing back. And, and coming out of my mouth, uh, LCA will be back. And 
we're going to have some competitions this year, too, right. you know. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool. I, w- I, w- I wouldn't expect any less. Yeah. yeah I, w- I mean, if you get an assistant coach that sits down and goes, man, we're just – we're not going to do good. <laughs> that's when I'm like, mm, That's not me. That's kind of suspicious. I'm, I'm, I'm – listen, God is putting something in me that um, I don't think any other coach has. I mean, I'm going to say this. Mr. H.H. H. Hugh Harris told me, he said, man, I've seen a lot of good coaches. This is a Texas man. Yeah. I've yeah. seen a lot of good coaches. Um, but – they don't have the gift that you have. And I never understood that. Uh, I have a bunch of nephews and nieces. I can get on the same level of a younger kid. Right. Um, and they're going through some tough times, you know, and I'm there. You right. Know, if they right. ever need me, I'm there to talk to them. So it's right. the same as kids here. How yeah. good is your relationship with you? Like, what, what, what is your relationship like? <laughs> wow, that's um, interesting. It's, um, he can be like a father. Right. Uh, he can be like an uncle. He could be somebody I just really want to go water boy on. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a great guy. I love him to death. Man. Uh, but that's that's the thing. He sits down. We work it out. I'll storm off. I, I don't hold any punches. Yeah. And, yeah. and he comes out and he can say some things. And But we respect each other and love each other. And he then at the end of the day, and that's why I'm still there. I don't think anybody can handle what how he has helped me through my years. Um, and one memory that I couldn't I'm, imagine you being a handful. <laughs> no. One memory I'm never gonna forget is I lost my best friend is my grandmother Susan Lyle. Right. Um, heartbroken, and there was there was three or four guys showed up, including uh, Hugh Harris. Wow. And you know what I mean with flowers and things, man. And, and I was like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't think I was even established at that school that well. Right. But. This just showed me that this is a guy I can I can right. go with with him for some years. So. Yeah, you weren't yeah. even expecting it. Yeah, of course. Who was a kid that came in and you know obviously you're a very positive guy, mm-hmm. no but <laughs> you try. Well, we all try. To we be. all try. <laughs> but you see a kid come in and you're like, man, I don't know about this kid. If if there were tryouts and a cutting block, you'd he be on the cutting block. Okay. Who so who's a kid that came in? You'd put him on the cutting block, and he completely turned out different than you expected. And just end up just. Is there anybody that just pops pop, uh, pops mm-hmm. to mind? I don't think so. Really? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, they all had some questions. You right. know what I mean? But then you realize, I mean, it could be mentally. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some guys who battle through some things spiritually. Um, you know, and then they just end up excelling. I'm like, okay, I had some things wrong. And I think every every player I went through has that. You right. know what I mean? So, now I can never – Put it, uh, like pick it out on who I okay. think it. All right. Yeah, I had to, I that's had a good question ask. though. I had to ask. <laughs> if I come up with it, I'll text you and let you know. So you've been around seven years. Um, you've seen a lot of changes through yes. all these different teams and everything. Yes. Uh, what are some of the biggest changes that you've seen since the time you came? Obviously, you said you didn't know about anything about even football. Sure. Sure. So from the time you came in to now, what's some of the biggest changes you've seen just overall? Whether it be you know the way the game is played or mm-hmm. teams coming in and out, coaches coming in and out. Um. I think the biggest thing that I've, like, watched around the league of, of how popular it is actually getting. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, I, you know, think it's for YouTube. That's how I learned the game, right, you right. know. So, uh, watching how popular it is in Texas and some up north. It's massive. It's crazy. And I'm watching it here. And, and like, last year watching Lancaster come down from 11 to 8. Um, and now watching Ezel do the same thing. Right, right. Watch Well kind of bounce around sometime too. Yeah. Uh, but see, this 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 lead isn't getting more and more respect. You know what I mean? Right. And watching these guys, you know, I love playing at CCS Field. It's regulated. Right. And it's just a beautiful, uh, just environment to play in. You, you would never experience it, but it feels nice to fall down on. By I, the way, <laughs> it's like carpet. <laughs> it's it really is. It's like a mat. It's, it's like a wrestling it's mat. One you know, most, you just lay down and you're like. Mm. It's one of the most beautiful groomed fields. I not. Yeah. I definitely, you know, I mean, attested that. But right. just watching it grow more and more and more every year. Um, you know, even if you know, let's be real, referees wasn't so good either. Yeah. You yeah. know, they they took it as a joke. And, you know, who wouldn't? I've right. never seen eight man, but now they're getting better. Everyone is starting to get more involved. Um, and I'm watching kids from all over these places go to college. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You know, the, uh, a couple cats coming to the lighthouse, our cat, you know, some cats coming to so Yeah, Sonny just yeah, this year. him, also yeah. Braden and KC all went. I don't know, you know, so uh, CCS guys, I'm watching so many guys. So you stick with them, you learn with them, and you go to camps with them. Right. They're still in Excel, and by them doing that, they were like, "Where are you guys coming from?" They're astounded, like, "Oh, these guys are coming from the eight yeah. man." So, yeah, you finally realize that you know it's like my shirt says, "Eight equals 11. They're just athletes that just play different, That's different it. type of game. How important are camps? 
Like for juniors and seniors. Very important. Really? Very important. Um, like I'm not trying to call any names out, but let's say I've I've seen. Let's let's call them out. Let's call them out. <laughs> now, I, I've seen some big schools, uh, and and came through uh, from Hendersonville. I watch a lot of the beach guys. I watch some guys from uh, coming from uh, what is it, Murfreesboro, whatever it may be. You can be on a 50, 60 man roster, whatever it may be, at a huge school. And not even get looked at. Uh, I experienced that about three years ago with a Hillsboro kid. Yeah. I mean, this guy's 245, 6'5", and he's 17. And, you know, I reached out to one, some, one of my connections, and he's like, he's like, I appreciate what you're doing for this kid, but I've been at that school for years, and nobody has ever introduced him to me. Really? So that lets me know that you can drop down to school like this, teach him some things, Stay with him, take him to camps, and he can better himself being at a smaller school in right. there. And it's and it's so terrible when he, you know people forget about seniors. I think every every everyone needs to sit down a junior and a senior, especially at a junior, and ask them, "Do you want to go further in this game?" Right. And that's when you, as a coach and as a person, needs to try to put them in the right spot to do it. Which one's more important, camps or film, or do they have a separate, a different place? I think both. Really? I think I think both. Uh, but Should camp. you get a junior film out, like as soon as you can, and then maybe get to camps and take the film with you? I think so. Uh, well, now you got all these these. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know what I mean. I say take it with you. Take the you know have the link on your phone, and then just be like, <laughs> here, I'm gonna email this to you. I, get their email. I, I'm, I'm old school, and I still think seeing somebody face to face if you can. But right. I know some schools you can't reach. But when they see you, and and then I think they'll start putting out some information on you, and then that's when they come to see you. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think face to face is more important to me. I'm right, old school, so right. yeah, yeah. You gotta put that the uh, you gotta put those tire miles in. <laughs> yeah, man. Make some that. trips. What was the uh, what's the favorite play other than you know you guys' field because you've been there for, for the, the field you've, you guys played that field for forever. Yeah. What's your favorite? I know you said CCS. Is there anywhere else you like to play, or that you have played that you wish you could play at again? You know, I like the whale field. Right. Pretty nice environment. Right. Don't <laughs> the love this, but I. I think Riverside is a great place to play. I love Riverside. I love I love I love Riverside. I, you probably heard some things, but the fans, man, that's what makes football. That's right. what makes sports. Right. And at the end of the day, you ought to come together and be like, you know, let bygones be bygones with right. friends and family. But on that field, they got some great kids. They got some great athletes they over there. They got some farm so. boys. I love it. Farm. <laughs> you go, I mean, it's out in the middle of nowhere. I love it. So but I think every every stadium and every team has their own like and like just love of fans. Now I get to I think this year we get to experience Ezel. Right. I think I played against him maybe in high school. That's yeah. That's a crazy thing. Yeah. Um and they've La- been around for forever. Yeah. In yeah. Lancaster, I wanna re- definitely experience their their home. Yeah, field. you guys go there this year. Yeah, so yeah. we're gonna do some traveling. It's, this it'll year. be interesting. <laughs> it'll be interesting. Um so does Riverside classify as the one that you don't like? No. I just one of those Is there I, anywhere that you don't like? You call them black and blue game. Okay. You know what yeah, I mean? Just, I gotcha. If you don't come out there with a little boo boo, you ain't doing something right. Right. <laughs> right. So, but at the end of the day, like I said, we all need to uh, have a higher purpose. Right. And if we don't leave it right there, it's a problem. So, now you guys have Freedom come in this year, Freedom Cowboys. Yes. That's another good team. So, they obviously, they've got the road trip. You guys haven't taken, uh, you guys have taken some road trips, though, before. Yes. Like you guys went up to Murray, Kentucky yeah. to play a team up out of uh, Western Kentucky. Are you a fan of road trips? I, or do you like just the the quick <laughs> hour drive? Or I am a fan. Um, Cause there's some people that don't. Some people are like I I don't want to travel. Well, I'm an off campus coach and it's and it's hard. Right. You know what I mean? Getting off your job and having to get into that mode. But I love the game. If it wasn't for the game, I don't understand like how much long I would be here. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, but um, yeah, I enjoy it. Um, I also see how some of those teams play. The Alabama teams, I think we played like three Alabama teams yeah. at one time. With yeah. Coach Drew was a traveler. Yeah, he was. And, um, yeah, he was. and I kind of like what CC. Well, there also wasn't as many, as many teams in that the league true. then. That is true. So, you had to fill a schedule. That is true. Yeah. So, and uh, I like what CCS does. They they go out and play some teams. Right. Uh, we, we look at that, and I was like, I like that. And then Coach Drew, a long time ago, and now that we're kind of adapting that is, can we be the best eight-man team around yeah. one day? Yeah. And be like, Okay, let's give what a Mecca, you know, where it started at. Let's give them a shout. Yeah. Once every year. Get Texas. back, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So, Missouri and Nebraska got a bunch of them. Wow, there you whole go. Bunch. Well, and, and we always mention the Van Der Esch mm. from Dallas. He he played eight yeah. man in Idaho. Yeah, he's, and he's such a um, – They've got a bunch of it out there. Man, he, he I mean, he really needs to come out and start speaking a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because people – 
kids now have gotten like something to look forward right. to. You know what I mean? Well, and it could grow so much because with with numbers dropping down on teams, true. If he speaks up and says, "Hey, I played on it, man. Team, I walked on a college. I got drafted." That's true. Just because where you play doesn't it doesn't affect it. That is true. You know, and it's not like a it's not like a you know little brother fighting for respect. It's just a hey, here it is. Yeah, I, I mean, it, and I give more and more respect of especially. You coming here and playing on eleven man field? And oh, watch yeah. the way these kids oh, yeah. run. Uh, it's a little hard. You got a lot man. to cover. <laughs> you got a lot to cover. That, that is true. That is true. But yeah, how do you, how do you like the? Uh, do you like having the whole Franklin rivalry? You enjoy that? I I do. I, do. I, I, I really do. But I, I think sometimes we need to do some talking one day. <laughs> get, get a little out of hand. <laughs> yeah. Those kids. Those kids enjoy it. I love them, man. Uh, and you know they they have a program from volleyball. From from basketball, they're well coached over there. Oh yeah, you know. So and I love it. I, I love being in and watching those kids. I I missed the scrimmage this year, just trying to better each other. Right. You know. So another thing to say about playing those teams in other different states too. The, I, I really feel like Tennessee coaches get a. <laughs> I, sometimes I think we we and I looked it up. I honestly did. Yeah. I feel like Tennessee coaches on a pay. Right. They don't guess. Oh yeah. I don't think we can coach. Um, oh yeah, and I watched. Um, I watched them bring. I've watched this bring other guys in from different states to coach, and I think it's time for us to start her up. Oh, yeah. showing up. Hey man, we can coach this. You gotta way. pay. You gotta pay. Yeah, workman's worthy of his hire. Right. So you know what these they Tennessee, say. These Tennessee teams gonna continue to get better. They're gonna better go up. Yes, They're sir. gonna go up. All right. Well, I appreciate it, man. God bless, brother. And I wanna say thanks. Thanks for listening.